For the third straight year, a writing test given to Oklahoma 5th and 8th graders will not count toward a student's score or a school's letter grade. Instead, the Department of Education is advising school districts the writing exam will only be a field test. I spoke earlier with Oklahoma Watch reporter Nate Robeson about that decision and its impact on the state. Nate Robeson, thank you so much for being with us today. Let's just jump right in. First of all, tell us about this writing test and what the problem is with it. Uh, the main problem with the writing test, there have been a couple of problems actually. The first part is the validity of the scores for the previous two years. Um, the scores are kind of clustering up at the same grade, which made people kind of raise concerns about how that could actually happen. And then the other concern has been more recently, uh, the superintendent of education cut the field testing, which is what you use to, uh, to make new tests. And so that means we won't have a test that's gradable this coming or this current school year. Who's grading these tests? The tests are being graded by subcontractors. The test vendor has measured progress, and then they give the grading part to another contractor who will hire people who are supposed to have a four-year degree and some type of background in that content. Uh, they've, drawn, um, they've gotten controversy for essentially looking for people on Craigslist and other job searching ads like that. Okay, and you mentioned field test. What's the difference between a field test and the regular test? The field test uh, is used primarily to help create test questions for the uh, next school year. And they'll make sure that the test questions work. And then a regular test is what you get the score on. So they won't score a field test question. They only score the actual test question. Now, is the state legally required to conduct these writing tests? Yeah, there is a legal requirement within the state law to conduct both the uh, actual graded portion of the test and then the field testing. So it has drawn some concerns from lawmakers that the state is falling short of its legal obligation. Problem being, there's really no punishment for doing so. But conducting the field test meets legal obligations? Uh, depends. If you ask the Department of Education, they say yes. Uh, lawmakers, uh, they, not so much. Okay, first of all, how much does this test cost the state? And I'm asking because uh, the superintendent of schools has said she'd like to end doing the writing tests and use the money to put towards teachers' pay raises. Will that work out? Uh, the actual writing portion, I don't know the dollar amount for that. The total annual testing is about $8.8 .8 million. Joy Hoffmeister, the superintendent of education, has called for at increasing teacher pay by about $5,000 a year. That's about $600 million. Uh, to do that. Wow. All right, Nate Robeson, a lot of information. We'll be looking for more from you in the future on yeah. Oklahoma Watch. Well, thank you. Thank you.